If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Shoutouts first of all to the Magic TCG subreddit for putting out a thread that inspired me to make another video, and specifically, it was 404 error, spelled F-O-R-O-H-F-O-R-E-R-R-O-R. Shoutouts to you for that, because I, what you pointed out was right. Right now, we have a lot of combos running around in Standard, especially enabled by Aether Revolt. So the one that's given here, we have a an artifact creature called Crackdown Construct. Now this bad boy says whenever you activate an ability of an artifact or creature that isn't a mana ability, Crackdown Consulate, Consulate Construct, it's from the Consulate, gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Gee, I wonder if there are any zero mana activated abilities on creatures that don't make mana. Ones that we can just spam repeatedly. <laughs> so yes, Wandering Fumeral. That is correct. Until Battle for Zendikar rolls out, rotates out, we have... Yeah, it's not... We're, we're getting to Splinter Twin, but we have one infinite combo here. So if you want to make your infinity, infinity, four mana artifacts, this is how you'd go about doing it. You'd run a blue-red, or at least blue-red deck, and then... Actually, you wouldn't even... Yeah, I, I guess you would need the blue and the red in order to activate, in order to turn it into a creature in the first place. So you would need to run both of them. Oh, that would be silly if you didn't have to. Oh, that would be silly. Alright, but that's just one combo. Because of the colors, you can run in the same deck another one. We have a nice little cat beast called Felidar Guardian. It is four mana, three in white. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target permanent you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. And at first, well yeah, you can get infinite enter the battlefield triggers off of having two of them. And that's correct, so if you have something that uh, lets you draw a card whenever one enters, for instance, boom, 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 just do whatever. <laughs> but we can also just kill our opponent on that turn by playing Sahili Rai. I was told that this went from a $5 card to a $20 card in a matter of hours. That's crazy. That's crazy, Owen Wilson. That's crazy. Alright, so the minus two on Zahili Rai lets you create a token of a creature or an artifact um, that is a copy of it, and that gains haste, but you have to exile it at the end of turn. Well, lo and behold, you create a token, a copy of Felidar Guardian, which blinks Sahili, which comes back in, you minus two, make another copy, and on and on and on and on. <laughs> So yeah, if you don't mind playing three colors, you can play Splinter Twin and get the turn four kill in standard right now in the same deck that has another infinite combo. And as if that weren't all enough, uh, remember that we just got a Court of Calling for Artifacts, War of Invention. We just got that too. So we can go and get, uh, at the very least, we can go and get a uh, Crackdown Construct. I keep wanting to say Consulate. Um, to make the combo that much easier. In addition to whatever other draw power we'll be running, or just counterspell.deck, um, just to stall the opponent and keep us from losing. Yeah, it seems like the deck, if all, if that's all you want to do, play infinite combos and win, you just put the combos in the deck, counterspells, removal, done, go. You got it. And then tutor, I guess. Uh, Court of Calling for Artifacts. But wait, there's more! Uh, we already had an infinite combo with Whirler Virtuoso. Now, this card, you make three energy when it enters, and you can pay three energy to put out a 1-1 one, one Thopter with flying. Standard enough, right? If Panharmonicon is out on the field, 
And you don't have to have panharmonicon. You can have combinations of panharmonicon to double the amount of energy you get, but that isn't enough because you need it to re-enter the battlefield to keep getting energy. Uh, so that's part of it. You can also use decoction module. Whenever a creature enters, you gain energy. And so with enough of these, we'll load, so say three modules or two modules and a panharmonicon. But now we have Gaunti's Aether Heart. Whenever it or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you get two energy. Now it is legendary, but it makes it that much easier to get enough energy to just go infinite with Whirler Virtuoso. And yeah, you won't Splinter Twin kill them in that you won't kill them with haste creatures on that turn, but you will next turn. Think of it more like Midnight Presence, if you're familiar with uh, Midnight Guard and Presence of God from Modern and Popper. Oh, this is silly, but wait, there's more. Although this one isn't really new. Uh, we, we've seen Eldrazi Displacer and Panharmonicon combo with things like, actually not even necessarily Panharmonicon, Brood Monitor just goes infinite. You'll need something like a Zulaport Cutthroat to enable you to do something, but yeah, that's one. Uh, but with Panharmonicon, you can make Drowner of Hope infinite. Uh, you'll make infinity of these little 1-1 one -one Eldrazi Scions. Yeah, we're, we have a combo rific, and those are just the infinite combos. Uh, Pummeler, or Green-Red Energy, that's a combo deck. <laughs> it doesn't go infinite, but that's a combo deck. Oh, we have a silly format right now. Makes me want to play standard, so it's a good thing that they printed Baral, and we have some decent counterspells in the format. We still have our Void Shatters, we have our Scatter to the Winds, we have our Summary Dismissals, we have Dispel, we have Negate. If you want to play against all these good combo decks, I say good, yeah, yeah, they're gonna be good. At least some of them. We The Eldrazi Displacer one's already a thing. Then yeah, you'll you'll want to be running some counter magic. Stall the game. One of the great things about running counter spells against combo decks is that often, in a lot of these decks, not all, but in a lot of them, if you just counter a piece, yeah, the combo falls apart and then the deck falls apart. In some cases, like Eldrazi Displacer, the pieces themselves are strong enough that you can win off the value plan. Less so in the case of uh, Mono Whirler <laughs> Virtuoso. <laughs> I suppose. Alright. That's it. I just wanted to gush for a bit. One of my favorite cards in Vintage. I just wanted to gush out. Alright. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Bye-bye.